Alright, this is Big Boss with Fox Hound Woods Ball coming to you from Fort Lauderdale. Now, I was watching a Rap 4 video, and the way they did it was that they had this guy on there who showed how to use a molly holster and some zip ties to configure a standard molly holster that Rap 4 sells and make it into a horizontal draw style for your vest. Now, you could get the horizontal molly panels or you could even find the molly panels with the webbing that are angled at 45 degrees for stuff like that but I will say however it was a very interesting and field expedient concept and I'm actually quite impressed now I don't have a molly holster as some of you guys know I'm a big lover of Tipman stuff and I like their TPX pistol. I've got the holster for it. Now, this is your basic TPX holster. You get it from the factory. You get it from wherever you buy it. It's usually set up as a drop leg configuration. And for all the guys that know me or have seen my YouTube videos regarding a TPX holster, I'm going to prove once again that there is more than one way to wear a TPX holster so going through some of my gear and some of my extra components I found some of the LC2 Alice clips which are right here this little thing and also the Alice Tamale adapter so you can put LC2 component LC2 Alice pouches onto your modular tactical vest. As you can see, the LC2 clips are on the Molly adapter and they're on the TPX holster. So give me one second so that way I could configure this onto my vest. Alright, I'm back. As you can see, the Alice Tamale adapters on the airsoft interceptor vest with the TPX holster firmly secured on it. Now, I could jump, wiggle around a little bit. Yes, there is some play in the this holster setup, but it's somewhat beneficial because I can actually adjust how to draw the gun if it's required or I can adjust the cant if you will where I can probably angle it up or keep it just straight 90 degree horizontal I will say just make sure you keep the strap around your gun and lock tight at all times when carrying it like this or have a lanyard attached to your vest but as you can see it does give you a little extra girth sticking outward because of the profile of the gun itself but when you draw it it's all natural nice for a quick draw situation if you're working a vehicle crew like a tank if you will in a paintball scenario game this is a nice thing to have especially if you're in a position where you don't have any room to access a drawing the gun for your gear and things of that nature now aside from that give me one second and let me see what else I can cook up alright and I just tried putting my TPX holster onto the pistol belt that's on my tack vest. Unfortunately, that idea wasn't good because of the size of the buckle. It wouldn't fit into the loops on here, which would put the leg straps. But, another idea would be this. Your basic pistol, I mean not pistol, your basic BDU belt. Kind of keeps your pants up. This kind of standard United States Army, U.S. Air Force issue, used on the Woodland BDUs. 
Uh, I'm not sure if these are still authorized for ACUs and ABUs. Now, it will fit into this TPX holster loops, but I would seriously recommend against putting it buckle first. As you can see, this little metal bar right here will catch on to any loose threads or it would tear the inside and probably reduce the service life of the holster. So, you take the soft end of this, just weave it in. <clears throat> Allow me to put this on. And voila, the TPX pistol right at your hip. This particular setup here for the hip configuration is ideal if you're wearing a chest rig or if you're in a vehicle crew at some of the major scenario or big games where you're standing in something like a turret and you don't have real good access to your legs to draw a pistol or retrieve any gear. A hip configuration for your pistol would be an ideal place to have it. It's also good to keep your legs free, but me personally, I would seriously recommend using a chest rig for it. Now, within the past couple years, well, past year, 18 months, give or take, I've just proven that there are four, three other ways to add to wearing a TPX holster. You could wear it in the standard drop leg. You could wear it in a pistol, I mean shoulder holster configuration. I will post a video to that in the description. You could wear it on your vest or on your hip. Now, because this is a video for low end or budget balling, field expedient concepts. This will be posted in the budget baller section of pbriot.com which is a paintball forum from hustlepaintball.net. I will be posting links to both of those in the description of this video so please check them out. Anyway this is Big Boss. I'm out of here.